Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy 212 Flowers here. And when y'all thought the drama was done, um, it actually just started because I mean, it feels like big games is a absolute dumpster fire right now with everything going on. Um, so we're going to try and cover as much as we can. So let's hop straight into it. So the first thing we have is this is from a person who was actually banned. Uh, I believe their name is Casey right here. Casey, whatever, Casey, it was Casey. Casey was banned, okay, that's the person. So they ended up making this about the ended up cheaters. So for anyone who doesn't know, a little backstory is there were four people who ended up using this exploit that they uh, found, uh, got like thousands of huges and they got like a bunch of what is it booth slot voucher tickets they got like four bill they got a bunch of stuff like crazy amount of huges all of this stuff got a whole bunch of stuff and they told the devs hey basically we're not going to tell you what it is or how to fix it or we're not going to tell you how to fix it unless you give us something and we're like yeah yeah easy deal 100 percent." so they were like here we can offer you a uh, rainbow shiny one of one titanic and so they got Four of them got one of one rainbow shiny titanics so everyone decided hey uh this sucks we worked we spent a lot of money we've told y'all about exploits stuff like that and all we got was a pat on the bat and then thank you and these people were like uh why do these people get you know rainbow shiny titanics but all the people that spent thousands of dollars in your game haven't gotten anything and so Basically, this person, Casey, got extremely mad about this and decided to take it to Twitter. Decided to go on a huge rant. Um, let's see. So we have a bunch of stuff from Casey. Casey got blocked, but Casey has just been going on an absolute tear on this game, talking about, you know, the fall off of Pet Sim, all of this, and was just going off on the bands talking about how the account was banned, talking about how these exploiters, uh, you know, all of this stuff, they were just making a bunch of money uh, by doing this. And so they ended up making this and they talked about a lot of issues on partner immunity, which I did look at and I actually did want to cover this just because I think that there is uh, a, gray, a gray line between who gets banned and who doesn't. Um, and I believe that the partners do have, a, I wouldn't say an immunity, uh, I because I don't believe that anyone has that immunity in the game. Uh, I do believe that they have a second chance, more of a, a benefit of the doubt kind of thing on certain things that they have. So uh, basically if someone gets caught doing something, they get banned. Um, however, if it's a partner, they kind of get a slap on the wrist. Hey, chill out. Don't do that again. They're like, oh yeah, easy. No problem. Or we'll just remove your partner. That's it. And so these are some issues that I wanted to cover. Um, just mind y'all. I do actually enjoy all of these people. No hate to big games. No hate to these people. This is just information that I'm covering. And I've actually noticed some of this in videos and things in the past that have actually happened and that's where big games like i said has that gray line or that grayish area to where you don't really know what you can and can't do in their game uh they don't really give you that information so you're just kind of there, kind of figuring it out on your own so um this person was banned for basically talking about about the game casey uh and so uh that's kind of weird that you get banned for freedom of speech to an extent i don't know so i just wanted to um cover this but it says this is something that they posted so i don't actually know specifically um but this is uh all the screenshots and everything that they posted so uh and they believe this is against terms of services so uh this person was exposed for exploiting many times and was always it was always rumored but then later exposed by Huge games and incredibly uh, reputable script for pet simulators. Uh, he was, of course, ignored and big games pretended it never happened. But then when somebody else got exposed, for example, uh, this person, they were banned. 
uh, only for a day, but it seems they qualify for a YouTuber immunity, not the partner immunity. Uh, so they had to pretend that they didn't have it. Uh, so it's kind of weird that, you know, certain people get banned for using something, but whenever it is partner, it does happen. Like he, he doesn't get any issues. Like, like he doesn't get banned for the same issues. Uh, over the past few months, uh, a developer for big games has been going around taking action against leakers going as far to DMCA takedown multiple sources, a popular case being uh, RG or RGB RBXG. Uh, now, what kind of example does that set? You're letting everyone leaks. Uh, everyone leaks are not allowed. Yet you have Razorfish, a partner publicly posting these leaks on his YouTube channel to almost 1 million subscribers. Big games yet to invoke their double standards, but this is another level when you're literally submitting DMCA takedown requests on users accounts and posts while allowing your own partners to get away with it. I actually do agree with this because of the fact that I do give out information. I try and send y'all leaks. I try and show y'all all this information. Um, I'm in some of these discords and stuff like that. And so I've gotten messages from owners of these discords letting me know like, hey, like we, we're getting hit with a DMCA. And it's kind of crazy to think that a lot of these, you know, leakers are getting these strikes, but a <laughs> literal partner of the game isn't getting anything. And I've been in the same discords as Razorfish. Like I, I get it. And so it's kind of weird to think that certain people can get away with, with it, but it's that gray line. It's that gray area. You know, certain people might be able to do it. Other people might not be able to do it. So. I just don't like that big games doesn't give us that fine line. Uh, and then this last one is going to be numerous, uh, was involved in a controversy where he uploaded a video promoting cross trading in his video, but claimed to buy an account and further in the video went to tell his viewers they could buy Titanic pets, uh, on eBay. If any other players cross trade, uh, they're met with a ban. But when a partner promotes it to their audience, we all give it a few days to die down and pretend nothing ever happened. This is a common tactic uh, with big games. Ignore it and it'll go away. So I actually specifically did not see this one. Um, so this one could have been, you know, fake. I don't know. I knew nothing about this one. Um, but from what this information is showing, in my opinion, I think it's kind of weird that, you know, people could get away with certain things just because of who they are. In my opinion, I think a lot of people should be held uh, accountable, especially the partners. I believe big games, partners and staff should actually be hold, held to a higher standard uh, rather than a lot of other people. And so this is just something that really, really bothered me uh, in that account. So uh, the next thing that we have uh, going on with this huge big games dumpster fire right now is we actually have Casey who once again, like I said, uh, ended up getting banned from Pet Sim 99. And so this is just something that is absolutely wild seeing someone getting banned. But we also do have another person, Jelly Sizzles Queen. This was also another person that was talking a lot about this issue. Jelly Sizzles Queen has spent a lot of money into this game, uh, a lot. And so is Jelly Sizzle's dad. They both spent a ton of money in this game and they were very, very mad at the fact that, you know, they've helped Pet Sim 99 with exploits, like telling them about it and they were not rewarded. However, these people were. And so this, I understand where they're coming from. However, just a lot of the things they were saying, you know, just felt, I guess, felt too overboard for big games. Uh, and so they just kind of, removed jelly sizzles uh partnership and so a lot of these people are actually very very nervous to speak out on this topic because they don't want to get their partnership removed with big games um i do understand that however i don't have a partnership so it doesn't bother me but also big games please don't ban me i actually do enjoy your game okay so this is something that was actually very very weird just seeing you know one of your top players getting removed from the partnership program and it's just crazy and then 
Uh, everyone is just going off on big games for the updates, the, the hackers, the clan scripts, the uh, just everything. People, people are too scared to say anything. Some people are saying too much. People are trying to script the game because they feel like they're allowed to do it now. Some people are scared if they say anything, they're gonna get banned. There's just so much going on. And with all this going on, it doesn't help that the developers like Josh, I do like Josh. I think Josh is a great person. Um, I think some of the information he gives out uh, uh, for the game, whenever the game's released, I think his videos are very well done. I really do enjoy it. So um, some of this stuff though, people were talking about the delete the rainbow shiny Titanic. Uh, you gave the exploiters who abused the glitch and got 20K free huges because they also before they ended up getting the titanic they also made sure that they got a bunch of huges because they wanted to make sure that they had a bunch in stock before they uh told them about the exploit and so they actually got a bunch of huges plus they got the rainbow shining titanic so josh just said boring next topic and so is a big games you know developer or whatever it's kind of like man this guy is just pouring the gasoline on the fire and if you're just looking at a lot of his comment there are some uh if i could find it uh where is it let me find it uh, i'd be honored uh oh right here so casey ended up saying there was a lunchbox or new pet sim so you could actually get the brand new lunchbox oh and spiral i'm sorry it was spiral my bad not casey uh said i heard melon is good at fishing bait and then josh said i heard you're banned and so he's just he is love gaslighting people and this is this is hilarious to me like low-key i think some of the stuff he says is hilarious but it's just like man this is just god this is just crazy to look at that there's so much stuff going on and then the last thing i did want to let y'all know is that during all of this big games decided hey let's just trademark the word huge and titanic for uh for class 28 toys so during all of this drama they're like hey let's get some extra money <laughs> so it's just like what are they doing games big games what are you doing right now and so it's just like i i don't know i don't i don't know what to say i'm just in shock after all of this the just everything that's going on there's just so much and it's just crazy so uh yeah i just i just wanted to cover all of this but i'm just i'm in disbelief but once again like i said i am not involved i'm just reporting the information so do not get mad at me. Do not ban me because, uh, once again, I, uh, I like your game. I don't like your update. The drama could use a little work. Your, uh, PR could use a little work, but, um, but Hey, uh, you know, when there's a fire, as Josh says, pour some gasoline on it, man. Cause that's about what's going on. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you on the next one.